So, do any of you have circus skills? I took a circus arts class last summer. Why am I not surprised? And what did you learn? I worked out on the trapeze a bit, but uh, I ended up breaking a lot of bones. You seem to have healed well. What? Oh, not my bones. I was supposed to catch this guy and uh, I dropped him onto someone. And they both fell into some other people. That's Ted! Who hit the tent support, which tipped the popcorn cart, which set fire to the audience risers, which collapsed with 48 people sitting on them. Well, I'm sure it wasn't your fault. No, it was. But I did learn a valuable lesson about the trapeze. Which was? Don't drop people. Oh, and don't fall. Yes, those are kind of the basics. How would you like a junior second assistant backup trapeze position? It would be an honor, sir. You are a strange fellow, but I admire your neckwear. Anyone else have any talents that might apply? When I was a kid, I used to do a little motorcycle act. Really? It takes years of practice to... M it went like this. Right. That'll do. I've phased animal acts out of my circus, but I could make an exception. Your friend here seems very well trained. Oh, he is. Shake. Bag? Like, please, please, please. Good boy. Uh, just for the sake of tradition, maybe you should do the tricks. That's probably a good idea, because Scooby-Doo does more circusy stuff than me. Show him, Scoob. Ta-da! You taught him all this? He tried, but, like, I just can't get it. Probably. And... Hello? Hi. If you're afraid, I could put you on the churro cart. No. No, I can do it. Do what? I don't know. Something. There are still a few acts I could use. How about knife throwing? No. Sword swallowing? No. Fire eating? No. Hmm. The only thing that's left is the human comet. That doesn't sound so bad. You get shot out of a cannon. Ooh. Can we go back to the knife throwing? I have to get everyone prepared. Meet me back here in the morning. Check. What time? Five o'clock. <laughs> There's no five o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Is there... Hello? I have a bad feeling about this. They're with me. Now we need to find Mr. Hyde's secret lair. We gotta figure out what he's gonna do next. That's easy. If he's going by the episodes, in his next appearance, Mr. Hyde transforms into a huge monster and destroys the city. Oh no! Okay, I'm heading to the stadium now. Bye! Come on, gang. We need to search Mr. Hyde's lair. Thanks for helping, Mr. Rabble. But it looks like Becker and his men were already here. I'm getting out of this costume. Me too. I'm totally burning up in this thing. Hold the phone. Huh? Looks like Mr. Hyde hacked into the convention center security. Wow. He could see everything, and control the alarms. I'm sad and hungry. Really, really hungry. Yeah, moping all day sure builds up an appetite. Maybe we should get something to eat, but not be happy about it. Yeah, not happy. Look, 
It's the baseball stadium. Hmm. Why would Mr. Hyde have a camera there? Ready, look. At last, freedom is mine. Oh no, like we're too late. Fear not, Shogun Shaggy, Samurai Scooby. You must carry on the fight. Unsheath the sword of fate so that my spirit may enter the blade. I shall be with you always, guiding the sword from within. in samurai school. Uh, I forgot. <laughs> the sword of fate. Impossible. Like you think that's impossible? Try flying into Tokyo on a green dragon sometime. Did you hear that, Scoob? Yeah, I did. It's that sushi sword master Masuhiro. He's in my head. Listen, Freddy. Do you hear that? Fred? Velma? Del? Man, I thought you guys were in Paris. You've got to be kidding me. So I asked him to fill in for me on the radio while I went out to look for the others. Meanwhile, Shaggy and Scooby were here with more monster than they could handle. Maybe there was something else here that the snowman was after besides Shaggy and Scooby. According to these inventory records, a few of your helium tanks are missing. My hit wh what Helium tanks? Yeah, we use helium to fill up the weather balloons, but th they're missing? What would a snow creature want with pressurized helium? Well, take a look at this. This is so weird. That looks like a seismograph. A device used to detect underground vibrations. I knew that. And it's picking up some really strange vibes deep inside the mountain. Then maybe the next place to search for clues won't be on the mountain, but in it. Hello? Anybody home? Minga! Are you in here? Ow! Are you all right? I'm fine. 
fine, but I think I just stubbed my toe on a clue. Helium? How strange. And look, the gauge is on empty. I'm starting to think this abominable snowman may be less snow and more man. Okay, Scooby-Doo, you got us up here. Now, like, how are we gonna get down? Uh, hmm. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Like, don't look now, Scoob, but I think our stock is about to take a serious plunge. so bad after all. Well, gang, it looks like we have another mystery on our hands. A mystery? We'll need to investigate this from the inside. And the best way to do that is to go undercover as a rock band. If we're lucky, the wild wind vampires will try to kidnap us next. I don't want to be that lucky. That's a great idea, Freddy. I'm not so sure about this. They may be our only hope. I guess it could work, especially if it keeps my pick to win the contest from getting kidnapped. And who's they? Two skinny dudes. They haven't shown up yet. I know you've never seen them perform, but trust me, they're the real deal. So what do you say? Well, OK, but don't say I didn't warn you. Scoob and I wouldn't mind setting this one out. <laughs> like maybe the group should be a trio. Come on, you chickens. Luna Dusk and I will help you look the part. Yeah, there's a wardrobe room backstage. This is gonna be fun. Like I knew coming to a place called Vampire Rock was a bad idea. I don't know how well we'll play, but, well, at least we looked the part. I hope we don't have to play at all. I thought you loved to sing, Velma. Not in front of so many people. I get stage fright. <laughs> well, I get vampire fright. <laughs> hey, look at this. Makeup? Stage makeup, actually. So the audience can see you better. Like Matt Marvelous was a musician. Even so, I doubt he'd wear this color. It's glowing white. And look at this. It's a footprint. From a hiking boot, to be exact. Wow, that's strange. How so? The print is sticky like glue. But it's not glue exactly. Uh, I don't know what it is. You're the new competition? Yeah. We're taking Matt Marvelous's place in the contest. <laughs> <laughs> you must be Jasper Ridgeway. And you must be the Bad Omens. Russell warned, uh, I mean, told us about you. Who ever heard of a band with a dog in it? Why don't you amateurs take a break? Yeah, it's time for a real band to play. Let's go, gang. 
We need to set up camp for the night anyway. Camping? <laughs> How primitive. I'll choose to travel in a fully furnished air-conditioned trailer. Russell told us about another band you used to manage. Wild Wind. Oh, yes. They were true superstars. I had such high hopes for them. Until that fateful night last year. I don't like to talk about it. It's just too upsetting. Well, back to the trailer. I can't take this heat any longer. Enjoy your rehearsal. Stupid golf cart! <laughs> nice to meet you, too. Let's get out of these costumes and start looking for clues. And get you into more comfortable shoes. Forks down, everyone. I have a few quick announcements before we move on to tonight's fabulous shipboard entertainment. <sighs> Open air aerobics with Bambi will be starting tomorrow at 6.20 instead of 6.15 on the Aloha <sighs> deck. Let's get physical. <gasps> um, let's see. Oh, yes. For all of you bingo lovers, we'll be holding our triangle tournament. <laughs> <laughs> be sure and buy your cards before the game. You get it? B, four, bingo. <laughs> okay, never mind. It's time for the show. Ladies and gentlemen, from o'er the seas and lands beyond our consciousness comes Mr. Mysterio. He knows all and sees all, but be careful lest he take control of your very mind. Wait a second. I don't need a mind reader to tell me that the creepy little guy in the black cape is right behind us. Will you assist me in a journey to the depths and edges of your conscious mind? No, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, let's show these two chickens some encouragement. Oh, you have to do better than that. Shaggy, Scooby, Shaggy, Scooby, Shaggy, Scooby, Shaggy, Scooby, Shaggy, Scooby. Come on, guys. You know they won't stop until you go up there. Oh, let's just get this over with. Are you ready to witness the amazing power of hypnosis? I'd rather witness the amazing power of the double cheese pizza back at my table. Yeah. <laughs> Not again. What did you say? Daphne? What's going on? Kids. Oh, geez, Skip. You're missing the best part here. They're coming. I know it. These special effects are incredible. How'd they do that? You don't get it, do you? Uh, really, son? The charade has gone too far. You're scaring everyone. You should be scared. You are getting very relaxed. You are getting very sleepy. Your limbs feel very heavy. What the? Get the captain. I command you, bark like a dog. Uh. <laughs> like the whole ship is going to the dogs. I command you to dance. Like all we know is the funky chicken. Stop. When I say the magic word, you will be released from your trance. You will not remember any of what has occurred. Do you understand? Yes, Mr. Yes, Mysterio. 
Three, two, one. Alice and Boozle. What happened? Now what? Blackout? I didn't schedule a blackout. Oh, this is gonna throw everything off. I know I'm not gonna like the answer, but I'll ask anyway. What was that? Ghost pirates. Told you I wouldn't like it. Zoinks! Yeah, zoinks!